Hey guys, Richard Huntley here, back with a brand new video. Today's question we've had from a viewer who wants to know, she's been, it's from Isabel, and um, she's been eating, you know, okay she seems to think, but she wants me to check out her meal plan, and the sort of foods that she's been eating is things like uh, yogurts, okay, for her snacks, and in the morning she has cereals, she has a slice of toast, sometimes also, so you know, um, that's for breakfast, but then for lunch, she'll have baked beans, things like this, um, but I would say, already just by looking at your start off of your breakfast, is that you really want to try and control your carbohydrates more sensibly, because the problem that we have is most of us, I can't speak for everyone, but lots of people don't have uh, an active uh, work day, so for example, let's say you're sat down in an office job, you're consuming you know, lots of these carbohydrates, you're not going to burn them off for your energy, they're just going to get stored straight into your fat cells because you're not burning them off. By the time you are active and you've just burnt off a lot of the glucose, the problem is you're not tapping into your fat cells because you're not working out a lot. The reason why these athletes can consume lots of you know, calories of carbohydrate form is because they work out four, five plus hours a day. So they're very, very active. Unless you're not doing this, which you didn't write that you are, you work out about three times a week or something. You know, and if your job's a sit-down job, you're gonna find that really, really tough. So what I would say for breakfast, you wanna make sure that you get your protein in there. So if you've got things like eggs are a great one, you can mix up the, the way you want your eggs in the morning. Um, I would have fruits absolutely fine, you have berries are my favourite, or cherries, and then for lunch you can have a nice tuna salad or something like this, get creative, eat natural source foods. For dinner, you want to go more along the lines of having a good big piece of protein, good piece of meat, if you if you eat meat, um, and also have your vegetables. Green veggies are the best, packed full of fibre, you know, vitamins, minerals, help flush out all of your system and cleanse yourself, which is absolutely great. And then for the drink front, you want to make sure you've got your know, good old H2O water topped up. But then you can go for things like green tea is also a great one. If you're British and you like a cup of tea, make sure that you go easy, obviously, on the milk and you want to take sugar in there. If you want a natural sweetener, you've got stevia over here now in the Western world. Um, on all over the world, you can have stevia from a natural um, source plant, you see. So that's also a really good one, which is going to help keep your insulin levels down. It's not going to make you store so much fat, especially around your midsection. So I would really look at the way you're eating right now, and you'll lose tons more um, weight, especially fat. Because that's the idea. People say, oh, we want to lose weight. But really what you want to do is you want to lose fat off of your body. You want to reduce your fat levels, don't you? So you can sculpt your body on, you can feel good about yourself. And I think that's really all it does. It's not just about the physical level of the way we're looking, it's about a, a more subconscious level. It's, it's about the more mental level of feeling good about yourself, feeling confident, and the journey, the process of who you're becoming. I say this a lot, it's very important. So there's your question of the day answered. So start getting eat natural. So with these breads, cut down on the breads. Unless you're a really active person, like I said, you can have a few more carbs, but everyone's different. Test it for yourself. I can't say this is the rule for you and only. It doesn't work like that. Lots of people say this. You know, over here in the Western world, lots of it's, yeah, this is what you need, get this now, and it's gonna help you, and it's gonna help everyone else doesn't work that way. We've all got different bodies and you know that's a great thing. We're all individuals and that's beautiful. But you've got to test for you. What works for me won't always work for you because we've got different lives we live. But test for you, see how you feel, reduce those carbohydrates down. If you're especially on those active days you can have a little bit higher, but on those non-active days, reduce it down. Test for yourself, apply and see what happens. And, you know, you'll start to see some really good results come your way. So that's all for today guys. I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did Always appreciate your support with the um, like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can by subscribing below also. And I will see you all in the next video.